safeties. Fox 4 News is getting results. We first reported on Crime Stopper's refusal to issue a reward to a couple who was key to Dallas police arresting a most wanted fugitive. Today, a Fox 4 viewer stepped up to do what he says Crime Stoppers failed to do. Fox 4's Lori Brown is live. Lori. Corey, a Fox 4 viewer told us that he knew he needed to do the right thing for a family that did not hesitate when face to face with a top 10 most wanted fugitive. We've been hearing a lot of thank yous and that we are heroes. We were there as Fox 4 viewer Cliff Freeman hand delivered a check to Kenyatta and Brianna Jordan. I know you guys have been through a lot and uh, I just want to tell you, I saw your story that Lori did on Channel 4, and uh, it just touched my heart. Freeman is a Dallas um, native and you know, business owner. Did, what you guys did was put yourselves at risk, um, and uh, you took a bad guy off the street. And uh, you're my heroes for that. You're welcome. You sure can. Then Brianna Jordan saw the amount. For $5,000. Thank you so much. I'm trying not to <laughs> tear up out here. Yeah. yeah I know everybody gonna see this. When I saw the story, I teared up, so it's okay. It's yeah. it's it's a good thing. It's yes, it is. Tears of joy. The Jordans are parents of six young children. Seven, six, four, three, one, and six months. So when they saw reports that Leonard Neal was wanted for abducting a nine-year-old boy and seven-year-old girl and sexually assaulting the girl, they looked at his photo carefully. When they thought they saw him at a bus stop, they called 911. As Neal got on the bus, they followed it while talking to police. Before police arrested Neal, he cut his throat with a box cutter. The chair who oversees North Texas Crime Stoppers told us that the Jordans could not receive the reward because their tip went through 911 and instead of their tip line. Freeman told us he believed the Jordan's actions were deserving of the reward anyway, which is why he provided the amount in full. I don't have Crime Stoppers number programmed into my phone, but I do have 911, and I guarantee a 911 is the first number that I'm gonna call. Freeman said he wants to show the community that Crime Stoppers are not. When you do the right thing, the community will have your back. On top of that, uh, we were able to contact Six Flags. Six Flags is providing the Jordan family with tickets to attend the park. We want to help celebrate this with you, this this great thing that you guys have done, and Six Flags has also wanted to, to participate in that as well. We just need more heroes like you guys. It's a blessing. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Hey, hey I want to hug I'm here. That's all right. <laughs> Love Thank you guys. You. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank yeah. you so much. After we brought this issue to his attention, Dallas Mayor Pro Tem Tanel Atkins began working to address the root of the problem so it doesn't happen again. He says he will have an announcement about a solution Tuesday.